as known. I was just passing by and I thought I'd just come for a very short walk up onto Goodmore. Um, happens to be an Ethel, so that's of personal interest. But we should also get, because it's a relatively clear-ish day, we should also get some absolute fantastic views and I can show you some future adventures from where I am. Also quite a steady gaff this, there's not, there's no one around nice and gentle and for what kind of place it is very surprised because it's as good as anywhere else you'll come if I'm honest with you. Only going to be a really short video this one but I thought it was worth recording and uploading so let's have a look so straight away as soon as you enter Gunside Moor you've got this fantastic view of the cloud which we've done in the Ethel Challenge before also known as Bosley Cloud but it's listed as uh, the cloud in the Ethel Challenge and just look how it sticks out from landscape when we climbed it it was so misty you couldn't see anything and this is first because it's so far away as well this is first like true time that I've had a, a really good look at what it looks like from you know any kind of distance I, I am going to go back up it at some point to check out the the views that you, you get from there um, apparently on correct day you can see I think it's that one you can see all the way over to Snowdon if you get a clear enough day but to say it's not the highest it sure does it sure does dominate the landscape around it so that one's worth worth a nice little mention then a little bit further up we get this lovely view of Croker Hill and its transmitting tower that one's another Ethel been up there before and uh, that's the one that I went up I went up to that one the wrong way actually I went up a, a private road and this kid said oh what are you doing son I mean he weren't mean or all he just said you shouldn't be up here can you go that way like back down and whatever so I, I obliged made a genuine mistake but I got to the summit but kind of like from the wrong side so um, that would be another one I'd like to actually walk up the correct path to one day but for now I've effectively been to the summit of that one look what I've spotted summit not something the summit just had to clear that up in case you we're confused that's the summit of Gunmore just known as Gun that's nice we're nearly there and we're just getting to brown now and I can see what I can see now right let's get up to the top anyway then we'll have another chat Just a little bit more commentary from myself before we end with an attempted 360 view. But that there is shuttling slow. And wow, what a hill that was. That was a fantastic climb, that. Absolutely awesome. I'd recommend that. If you, if you want a nice, if you want a hard climb but a short-ish route, that is the one. That's fantastic. And I don't want to ignore these. But obviously shuts in low from here dominates but the the little yellow area I try and about there so just behind that is Whetstone Ridge that's another Ethel and then the one that's a bit in the mist a bit, a bit hard to see try and that one there that shining tall all Ethels fantastic area this what a view you've got from up here Thank you. 
from where I am, the, the summit of Gun is, is really something special. Lovely. It's just a big shame, it's, it's a bit of a shame it's so cloud covered, but at least there's no low cloud or mist. So I've managed to get good views all around. There's, there's plenty more that way, but I could spend hours naming hills and stuff like that for you. I just thought I'd point out a few of the more prominent ones. If you want a nice, easy, nice, easy walk, my ability to speak today is somewhat off. But if you want a nice, easy walk in Southern Peak District, you're not going to beat this. Good more. Fabulous. Thanks for joining me today. Only been a short and cheers, dudes.